What's up, guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, when it comes to the Apple Watch, we now do have quite a number of new watch faces. And if we go to our new watch face selector here and click new and click where it says new watch faces, you see that we have a number of new watch faces. I'm going to be explaining this in details here on the channel at Half Men Half Tech. So if that's something that interests you, then do subscribe. And as you can see, the first watch face that we have is this astronomy watch face now something to keep in mind is that this astronomy watch face has sort of been remastered to take advantage of the expansive display of the new apple watch series 7 with thinner borders so i've set it as my watch face so this is it that you are seeing here and we're basically going to see how it's it's explained in the apple watch app and what we can do to see and use on this watch face in my opinion this is the most uh, informative watch face we've ever had and i'm going to be showing you just that so now the first thing that i'm going to show you if you go into the apple watch application and click the astronomy watch face you will see that it mentions that a modern version of the mechanical orrery now that term i did look up orrery and it came up as a mechanical system of the solar system that illustrates portion of the moon planets and sun so with this watch face we have the ability to be able to see different positions on that and let's quickly go into it and customize and see if that is so so this is our watch face and if we hold on it we have the ability to edit the first thing that you can edit from the top is the font and this is just the font of the text you have rounded modern and classic and you can see how the text sort of changes but that's not the most important or informative thing that we want to do and then you have a view now you have three things that you can actually set view you have the earth as the first thing and then you have the moon as the second thing and then then you have the solar system as the fourth thing or if you want to select random between these three things your watch will basically just switch between the three you have random where you can select you can set the earth moon and solar system as your view for the purposes of this video we just set the earth and then you have the style of view so you have random where it shows you random cardinal points uh, in relation to your position is or you have full where it basically shows you a full picture of what you would have selected as your view so you see that since we've selected the earth it shows us a full version or a full view of the earth and for now let's just keep it on random and then you have the ability to add different complications this can be edited to uh by anyone according to their need on their apple watch so now that we we have set it on like this let's quickly see the things that we can see with this setting so the first thing that you can see here is that this watch face is expensive and dynamic and i mean i mean in the sense that it's expensive because you can see that it goes all the way to the thinner borders of the apple watch series 7 so you can see that you know it does run all the way to the edge and the other thing that you can see with this watch face if we lower our risk and raise it up you also get to see that as it displays time randomly it also shows like a depth sense of time so let's just click on it like this sometimes you'll be able to see the time go behind the clock or the earth and this is basically depth view where the time goes behind the earth and that is something that you're going to see as you know you use your watch face and transition between the different modes and also with this set setting that we have when you lower your risk and you raise it up it's always going to sort of show you like a, a different portion of the earth and this is basically in relation to your current location so you can see how it shows us the south the east and so on and that is amazing it just shows you you know like for example now you can see the north and you can see the depth sense that i mean as the time is now behind the earth and that is something that's good also with this watch face on the earth setting you can also have the ability to basically transition uh, between day and night for different current locations continents and so on now this is my current location and i know this because 
whenever I lower my risk and raise up my risk, you see that it shows me different location, but in relation to this as a reference. So this is my current location. And I know this because if I go to edit it and select the view here style as full, so if I select this to be full, then you will notice that it now shows my current location by means of the green dot. And so you can see my current location. You can also see the current cloud coverage of my location. So that is something that's updated in real time. And if you keep an eye on your Apple Watch from time to time, maybe hourly or two hours for, uh, often, you'll be able to see the cloud coverage change and if you want to reference that you can always reference with your weather channel or with google earth that is something that's amazing and then also the other thing that i wanted to show you for example you can you know move time so for example for my current location you did see where my current location is and you can see that you know i, I am it's probably you know it's uh, around 5 p.m but we do have sunlight but if you move time forward you will see that at around three hours or four hours from now it's going to be sunset so i can set my trips according to that and i can only view like i can it's not only limited to this view where i can view my location if i click on the earth like this it shows me now and i can move the earth around for example you can see like south america and central america or if you want to see africa you can see africa right there and if you can see that right now in Africa, it's in the night, right? But if I move the clock or my digital crown uh, forward, you will see that in about, let's say five to six hours, right? You see that Africa, it's going to be daytime. And I'm basing basically on Southern Africa since I'm very well referenced within that area. So you can see that it, it's going to be daytime. Same with um, Europe or Asia. If you want to see, you know, when it's going to be daytime or when it's going to be nighttime, you can always see that with this watch face and you can actually see the current cloud coverage. So for example, for Europe, you can see that they do have a little bit of cloud right there. For Southern Africa, right here, you can see that the clouds are pretty much clear so this watch face is really good and it shows you your current location it allows you to move time to see when you have sunset daylight and so on and it shows you the cloud coverage in real time when you have it set to the earth now let's go again and edit it and then we'll edit here and we'll set it to a different view so this time we don't want to view the earth we want to view the solar system and style you can see you have full view or you have random view now for this uh, setting we're going to set it to view and then i'm going to show you what you can see when you set this to uh, solar system and full view so the first thing that you notice is that you can see the current position of the eight planets in relation to the sun so you can see the first planet mercury you can see venus and then you can see the earth you can see march and then you can see jupiter and so on so so this is the current location and basically if you click on it it will show you now and if you want to see what day of the year we are you can actually go to this website so let me just show you on my iphone here if you go to this website it will show you what the current number of the day is and right now you can see that it's day 166 so you can see the current date june 15 and i do have june 15 on my apple watch right here and on my uh, Apple Watch right here with the solar set as my style. So if I click on it and I go back 166 days, you'll be able to see where the Earth basically started. So let's say 166. So right there, this is where January 1st began and um, it just shows, it's showing me the current date as December 31st. So around that that place or that location there that is where january 1st 2022 started and so by the time we do a whole rotation around the sun or 365 days from now we should arrive to that point so that will be one complete year so if we move our 
our earth back to the now and click here and go forward to 365 days or to a complete rev re revolution we'll be able to come back to this point so you can see that in about 199 days we are going to come to our original starting point and that is going to be december 31st 2022 and if you move it a little bit it's just that it's too sensitive so you see that um in about let's move it forward it's so sensitive so in about 200 days it's basically going to be january 1st 2023 on new year and in reference to that you can see that um, this website does mention that after today 199 days remain in this year and you can see you basically saw how we can track that and with this watch face it's pretty good and it can help you actually be able to see uh, the position although the current position of the earth in relation to the sun and in relation to the other planets that we have in our solar system so this is pretty good you can see the alignment of the planets in uh, and, and also you can see like uh, where the planets are going to be from now on and you can see which planets basically rotate the sun faster than any other planet so for example if you look at the first planet in our solar system mercury this planet what we know is that it basically rotates the sun every 87 days so if you were to go forward or if we go to now right and then click here you can see where we are and if you go forward to about 87 days or 87 earth days then this mercury planet would have done a resolution a revolution around the sun or it would have done one complete year for its year so if we go forward 87 days you notice that uh, it's back to its original position where it started right there but the earth has just done a few days 87 days and also the same goes to for the second planet which is uh, venus so venus we know that it does uh, every 225 days it does a whole re revolution or it goes around the sun every 225 days so if you click on it now and go forward 225 days it should be back to this point but the earth wouldn't have done a complete resolution or revolution around the sun it will basically only have done 225 days but for the second planet which is venus it would have done a complete um, revolution around the sun so that is something that's interesting and you can always see you know for these planets you can also see it at which point in time our planet is going to be aligned with for example like the earth and venus in relation to the sun or you can see that at this point here um, mercury is going to be aligned between you know the earth and mercury and venus and the sun rather so you can also see you know the planets they sort of try to do justice when it comes to the sizes of the planets because this is supposed to be the smallest and you can sort of try to see it from here although you know on my camera it doesn't really do justice but you can see this is supposed to be the smallest and this is supposed to be these are supposed to be the biggest you can sort of see it from there although it doesn't really do good justice but it does try to show you know the environment or the depict pictures of the environment because we know for example mercury is very rocky and you can see the color for it and then we know that venus is really hot and that is the color of venus if you were to go on the internet and look for it and we know how the earth looks for example and you can see the picture for it so it does try to do justice in this so this is how it looks you can move forward again and back and see where the earth or the solar system looks like in the, on any di different date that you choose to set and you always be able to see the date on top also something that i want to share with you here is is the moon which is the last thing so if we go here and set to uh, solar uh, to our view as the moon uh, we'll be also be able to see the current moon uh, condition so with the moon you can follow the moonlight in its phases so if you click on it and click on the moon this is how if i had a really powerful telescope and look up this is what i would see 
times in my current location where I am when I look at the moon and if I was to move forward or move back you can see you know the different moon phases that we are going to be having so in about seven days we're going to have one in crescent and then if you are uh, well, curious you can move forward and see when we're going to have a new a new moon so a new moon is in about 43 days from now and basically you can also move forward again and see when we are going to have a full moon so a full moon is going to be in about 57 days and if i look up from my current location in about 57 days i should be able to see a full moon depending on the cloud coverage that i'm going to have so the moon you can sort of see its phases and basically this is the new astronomy watch face that i thought i should explain to you you can see that it has a lot of information it packs but you have to be interested in the information in order to try and look for it you have different things that you can view between the earth the moon and the solar system for me i do like the earth and the solar system and uh, for now i just have it set to the earth because i'm really interested in the cl current cloud coverage and basically it shows me my location and i can sort of see you know what, what the rest of the world looks like right i can see southern america africa and so on and i can move time you know that is something that's amazing so that is this astronomy watch face with watch os 8 let me know what you think about it very soon i'm going to be explaining the luna and the metropolitan and so many other watch faces and so many things when it comes to the apple watch and the watch os 8 or watch os 9 rather so if you do like this video definitely do subscribe and uh, stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace